Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015, where today we're going to take a look at the completely new set of tools found in SolidWorks called SolidWorks MBD. SolidWorks MBD allows you to capture and share PMI or product manufacturing information with other people both inside and outside of your organization easily. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the tools included in SolidWorks MBD. Some of these are going to be familiar tools and many of them that really make MBD what it is are brand new tools. So we'll go through the entire process so you can understand how they all work together. To start, we need to capture dimensional information. To do this, we're using traditional DIM expert dimensions. If you're not familiar with them, they're dimensions that you apply to the 3D model itself, not necessarily the features. DIM expert dimensions also help you understand when your part's been fully defined. You'll notice here that when I click the show tolerance status button in the feature manager tree, SolidWorks lets us know if enough information's been provided to properly manufacture this part. In this case, you can see that the notch in the back is missing several key pieces of information. Let's go to work adding those. To start, we want to add a size dimension to the fillet here. That should be an easy thing to add. And you'll notice as I do it, it automatically captures the quantity and the size and puts a tolerance on it based on our standard. When I return to the show tolerance status, we can see that the fillet is now green. One of the other pieces of information we want is the width of this pocket. And you can see I can simply grab it and apply that there. And finally, the last thing that we're looking for in this case is the depth off from the back of this pocket. Now for this I'm going to go ahead and use a location dimension. I'm going to choose that back face in this hole which happens to correlate with data A. You'll notice that this dimension pulls out in the top view. So let's talk about that a minute. We have a lot of dimensions on screen and it can feel a little bit cumbersome at time. One of the new features found in SOLIDWORKS MBD is this dynamic annotation views button found in the heads up display. What this does is it hides all of these DIM expert dimensions until you rotate to an orientation where they can be properly and clearly displayed. This makes it much easier to navigate your 3D model. In fact, I probably should have started by showing this, but I thought it shows the benefit after showing this later. So let's bring everything back. So we've generated all of our dimensions that are needed to manufacture this part. How do we share that information? Well, it starts with the first new most significant feature of SOLIDWORKS MBD, a new tab at the bottom of the screen called 3D Views. 3D Views capture key pieces of information that you select. Here I have a view where I said I want all the dimensions available. 3D Views also capture information such as configuration specific and display state information as well. But most importantly, they capture which DIM expert dimensions associated with which annotation view are available. Let's take a look at what we mean by that. I'm going to go to my front 3D view here, and you can see that all the dimensions that would appear on the front view are here, including a lot of dimensions that are associated with this pocket feature. Well, we're going to create an additional or separate 3D view to call out just those dimensions. Actually, let's do that first. Let's right click and choose to activate this annotation view where again we see mostly the same information. We're going to then simply say we want to capture a 3D view and you can see from the preview it's going to capture all of this. Well, we only want the dimensions that are associated with the pocket. None of the dimensions associated with the front view as a whole. All we need to do is deselect that. Now you'll notice a handful of dimensions appear here. This is where things get interesting. If I go back to my front view, we can now remove that information. We don't need to see the pocket dimensions. So let's right click and choose to recapture the view and deselect the pocket dimensions. As you can see, it's pretty quick to start clearing things up, but a few dimensions are here that look like they should be associated with that pocket. To move those over, you simply need to choose them and press the tilde hotkey and choose to assign those to a new annotation view. This makes it really quick and easy to get the dimensions on the correct annotation view so that your 3D views appear correctly. Now when I go back to pocket, you'll see that that new information is there and I can make minor adjustments to it as desired. There's one more view we want to add. We want to capture the information for that new notch we just created. So let's go ahead and activate and orientate 
to that notch view and let's go ahead and let's choose to capture this 3d view now in this case we're going to choose only the notch annotation view and press ok again it looks like a case where some of the information isn't in the appropriate view so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn some of those back on let's go to our top annotation view here and we're going to go ahead and redefine these to be part of the notch so I'm going to select them and again use my hotkey to assign those to the appropriate view now when I double click on notch you'll see that all the information needed is there so I've generated these 3d views and I have them in a nice easy to read format but I need to share these with people who probably don't have SolidWorks this is where the power of 3d PDFs come in all I need to do is choose to publish this to a 3D PDF and choose from a variety of templates. There's also a template editor which we'll cover in more detail later or you can see by going to your local resellers rollout and launch events. In this case we simply need to choose what uh, 3D views do we want to include. Well I want to include all of these. There's also some information we've included inside of our template, including a field for custom information. Here we're basically overwriting the description custom property, and we're just going to call this a machined bracket. And I'm going to press close, and you notice we can also change the custom property text at this time. You can see it's automatically pulling from drawn by in material here. Once we're all set, we simply need to press OK, and we're going to overwrite the existing copy of this. SOLIDWORKS will then go extract all of these 3D views and put them into our PDF template where we can share these with anybody. Once they receive this, you'll notice it's very easy to navigate and the real power comes in their ability to rotate and navigate these views. So as a machinist who needs to create that pocket, I can quickly navigate to the pocket and see just those dimensions associated with it. Likewise, if I want to see what those dimensions are referencing, I can simply click on that dimension and it'll highlight the faces associated with it as well. As you can see, SOLIDWORKS MBD is a great tool for quickly communicating your information with other users in a 3D format, eliminating the need for traditional 2D drawings.